Hey guys, Kevin from the Mac be here, and in this quick how-to video, I'll be showing you how to calibrate the battery on your Mac. So what this process does is, it's called calibrating your battery, but it's basically draining the battery and then recharging it, and this gives you a more accurate reading of how much battery power you have left, and it also ensures that you get the longest battery health, the highest battery health, and longer life for your battery. Longer life meaning as in more recharge cycles on the battery. So I'll go ahead and this is Apple's support page and Apple suggests that you calibrate the battery when you first get the computer and every few months after that. And if you normally use your Mac notebook as a desktop computer keeping it plugged in then you want to perform this process at least once a month. So you can go to uh, apple.com slash batteries so I'll click here and what you want to do, the lithium ion batteries, calibrating your battery is pretty simple, but not everyone does it, but it's very important. So what you do is you can plug it in, you plug the notebook into the MagSafe adapter, and you let the battery charge up all the way. Once it reaches 100%, you can keep it sitting there for two hours. And then you just drain the battery, unplug it, keep the computer running, and drain the battery. And when you drain the battery, <coughs> ignore all the warnings, make sure you, you don't have anything like data that you're going to lose or anything, any open web pages or, you can have open web pages, but anything in Word or anything like that that you want to save, <coughs> make sure you save that. And then just keep the computer running, even when it says you're running on reserve battery power, you know, even if it says like 2% left, just keep it going until it goes into permanent sleep mode. So that's how you calibrate the battery. And then just after you're done, just plug it back in. And this will ensure that you get the most accurate reading up here in the uh, window, the most accurate reading of how much battery power you have left. So that will help and will also <coughs> hopefully give better battery health and ensure that you get the most load cycles out of your battery as possible. So guys, uh, Kevin the Mac Expert, this has just been a quick tutorial how-to video showing you how you can calibrate the battery on your Mac for the best performance on your battery. So hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. And please subscribe if you like my videos. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.